In this video we're going to take a look at box plots and this is question 16 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. So here we're given, uh, we're told that the incomplete box plot uh, and table show some information about some marks. We're given a diagram and some information here. Question A says use the information in the table to complete the box plot. So first of all what we're going to need to do is recognize what parts are we missing from our box plot diagram. Well the first thing I can spot that we're missing is the median and we're also missing the highest mark. So our median we just represent with a line that goes down inside the box at where we're told. So we're told that the median is 30 so we just need to draw a line from th at 30 inside the box. That there is representing our median. Then the highest mark, the highest mark is represented like the lowest mark is using a line that comes out of our box plot and so we can see that our highest mark is 55 so we need our line to come up to 55 and so that would finish our diagram. So that was worth two marks. Now part B says use the information in the box plot to complete the table. So let's first of all just talk about very briefly about what each part of our box plot represents. So here our lowest mark our lowest mark is represented by that part there. So where the tail comes out of the box, um, that point there is representing our lowest mark. The lower quartile, the lower quartile is represented by the box beginning. So the lower quartile is where the box begins. The median, as we just found out a moment ago, the median is simply a line inside the box that um, represents the median. So there's our median. Then next, uh, our upper quartile is represented by the end of the box. So that there is our upper quartile. And then lastly, the highest mark, uh, we just use an orange here. The highest mark is where the box, where the tail that is coming out of the box ends. So that is our highest mark. So, um, we're asked to use the information in the box plot to complete the table. We need to find the lower quartile that's missing. So we can see here that the box, the box starts at 10. That's where our lower quartile is. So our lower quartile will be 10. So um, if you didn't get that right, what I suggest you do, or if you just want some extra practice, pause the video now and attempt this question here, and then press play to see the answers. So we've got this box plot here, right, being asked to complete the table, find the lowest value. So the lowest value is where the tail begins that comes out of the box, and that is at, um, as we can see, that's at 18. So each of these little squares are worth two each. The highest value, that's at, well, 90 is here, 92, 94. The lower quartile, that's where the box begins. The box begins at 30. The upper quartile, that's where the box ends. So the upper quartile, we can see that's 60, 62, so it ends at 62. So that's our upper quartile. And then the median is that line inside the box, and we can see that that is 40.